What's up guys, my name's Kamal. Uh, this is another Path of Exile PlayStation 4 video. Today is just going to be a, well, a look at the build that I'm running currently in the Legion expansion. So, let's roll the intro and uh, take a gander, shall we? So yeah, surprise, surprise, I am running but a game. The uh, Nagamahu's Flame Abyssal Axe Cyclone build, but this time it's not on a Chieftain. Oh no, no, it's on a Slayer. Uh, so the first thing we're going to look at is the gear that I'm currently running. This is, I've only really played one character this league, so I've been putting a lot of time and focus on this. And here it is, so Nagamahu's uh, Flame Abyssal Axe, we've got Combustion. Uh, obviously makes it more fire damage chance to ignite and fire resistance that's that's good um, <clears throat> increased area of effect this is another great one to have it just makes it a little bit bigger plus I've been trying to farm lower level maps for currency and gear and things of that nature elemental damage now on this axe you don't really have to have you don't at all have to have anything linked just have the sockets in it and it works because, well, we're looking for all of these to, to work with the Magma Burst, or I, I believe that's what it's called, the Magma Burst off of the axe. Uh, so fire penetration, even more penetration, uh, added fire damage, and then greater multiple projectiles. So that's what's going to be on the axe. And then we have a Le Hup Dale Iron Ring. Just, I found it while I was leveling, and I was like, holy shit, this is good. So I've been using it. Uh, Starkonia's got it for pretty cheap. On there we have Onslaught Support, Close Combat Support, Faster Attacks, and Leap Slam. We also have our Belly of the Beast. It, it just makes things a lot easier. Um, if you can't afford Belly of the Beast or you don't have a Belly of the Beast, Bronze Lift works. Tabula Rasa works. A good 4 socketed or 4 linked or 5 linked item works. You don't have to have a crazy good piece of gear like this. The builds are so strong for melee now that you can really work just about any chest armor with this as long as you get the right colored links and you're not, you know, being a dumb dumb about it. So with that we have Cyclone, Pulverize, Melee Physical Damage, and Fortify. We have Perseverance, Vanguard Belt for our belt. We just picked this up yesterday uh, in the Discord, one of, uh, one of my fellow brethren. I uh, decided to let me know about this belt, and I was like, holy shit, that's a pretty goddamn good belt. So, that's what we got. Um, just some good yellow boots. And there we have cast wind damage taken at level 7. And then we have a level 9 Immortal Call. It's, it's pretty good. You know, it, it saves us from time to time. Immortal Call, Molten, uh, um, um, uh, uh, molten Shell, that one. They work a little bit differently. I hard cast Molten Shell as kind of like a pre-buff before I go into a big area or before I come across Spiky Boys. And then this I just let happen as it happens. Uh, Flesh and Stone, and then we also run Blood and Sand and Anger. Now, with Flesh and Stone, Blood and Sand, as you see, his name is Darude. That's because they are going to be in the Sand Stance. When you're in the sand stance, it is amazing with how much more range you have, as well as the defenses, defensive capabilities that it allows your character to have. Now, with this build, a lot of the times you'll come across um, deaths if you if you try to fuck with elemental reflection. So, when you come across elemental reflection, what I actually like to do is I have how do I get to it right there. Um, I have this. I just swap over to this one, and I just I just cyclone through everything with this one. And it, I mean, it's there. It does its job. I'm leveling up a, an empower over here because you know why not? Um, so yeah, elemental reflect have something good in your offhand that doesn't really do elemental damage. Now let's look at the flask, health flask, rot gut. I found it, it's pretty cool. Uh, Lion's Roar, I found it, it's pretty cool. And then Quicksilver for Poison, Quicksilver for Bleeding, this one has uh, Freezing. Y you've got to have at least those three. Don't, 
don't fuck yourself. Get a bleeding flask, a poison flask, and a freezing flask. I mean, some builds, obviously, if you're going to fill them out with unique flasks, that's different, whatever, do your thing. But if you're not, get 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 these three. Okay? Bleeding, poison, freeze. Just, just do it. Um, necklace is just a random necklace. We are looking for a... Oh, what's it called? I always forget the name of it. Uh, there's a necklace that I'm looking for. There's some there's some stuff that we still need. Molten burst damage. It only says 2950. It's a lot more once you get out there. You'll see. Uh, 18425 for cyclone. Now let's look at the passive tree. It's fairly basic. Um, evasion rating, health, axe damage. Um, I'm heading up here to test how this build works with Avatar of Fire. I'm curious to see how it will work. Um, with this on it, we'll be looking at 100% physical damage over to fire. And then also down here, you know, there are a couple skills that we're putting in for additional fire damage. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the passive skill tree, at least how I have it. It's, it's not the best skill tree it's not the best build it's that's just a random build that i found i think it's pretty decent though um the main thing is that it's mine uh <laughs> it's mine i enjoy it so let's go run a map we have this dark view moon temple map it's just a rank nine map i'm gonna go ahead and get off of the microphone play some music and let y'all watch this happen uh if you enjoy the video please consider liking subscribing all that good stuff. If you want to show support further than that, well, you know what to do. The links are down in the description below. Enjoy the rest of the video. Actually, you know what? Before I leave you, I forgot to say. So the reason that we're running the blood and sand and the sand and uh, uh, yeah, flesh and stone. So with this one, as long as you're in your sand stance, you're blinding the enemies that are near you. And the enemies that are farther away are actually dealing less damage to you. If you come to a point where you're you're more than capable of running through everything, you can switch over to blood and just kind of, you know, do more, more damage. Um, and then, where is it? The other one. This one right here. Not that one. I lied. Right here. So, while you're in sand stance, your melee skills, they have 5% less area damage. But... But, they have 14% more area of effect. And then, while you're in blood stance, you deal, you know, it's, 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 it's a smaller area, but more damage. Anyways, that, I, I, forgot to, I forgot to say that. So now, anyways, anyways, now, now I'm going to run the map. I'm out!
I gotta say, aside from that really shitty, stupid-ass fucking monolith, that was a pretty decent map. You know, and the fact that there was no drops. But anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for, uh, thanks for checking out the video. Peace.